Hello, my name is Jim Coppinger with Zen Tech Consultants, and I wanted to talk to you guys today about using Microsoft Excel's conditional formatting tool in the construction industry. Uh, Excel is one of the most powerful tools out there in the market, and, and we all use it in the construction world, uh, whether it's for putting together bid documents or if we're doing you know, quantity takeoff cost estimates, scheduling processes. It, it's one of our primary day-to-day -day tools. And the conditional formatting feature inside of Excel is probably one of the, the simplest and most powerful capabilities that Excel has, particularly as it, as it corresponds to the construction industry. And the reason I say that is when we're, we're working in the construction field, um, if you kind of take a look at the screen here, we tend to work with very large data sets. Right, I have just a very short sample up here on screen in terms of a uh, kind of a, a quantity takeoff structure. But, you know, it's not uncommon in terms of schedules and, and estimates and so on inside of Excel to have, you know, 15, 20,000 rows of data with, you know, 15, 20, 100 columns worth of information. And when you're getting down in here and you're trying to do sorting and filtering and finding out, you know, who's got the highest bid, who's got the lowest bid, um, you know, what, which, which crews are responsible for information, you know, whose costs are above average and below average, that kind of thing still for most firms winds up being done manually. We, we print out documents, we use highlighters to figure out who's doing what, Okay, if you get a little bit better, um, you can start to sort and filter things kind of one at a time. So I can go in and say, you know, uh, you know, which crew is responsible for what work and I can kind of filter down to see just their data. But one of the things that's really nice about working with the conditional formatting is that it allows us to go in and set some kind of search parameters, conditions, right? Hence the term conditional formatting. We set these search parameters and then Excel goes through our selected set and finds the, the cells and the values that meet our criteria, right? So in other words, let, let's just do it and I'll show you a couple of, of very simple examples where this can really be a powerful structure for you. So I'm just gonna go up here to the conditional formatting feature up in on, on the side up here on, on the home tab. And let's say for example that we wanna go in into our uh, man hours of labor, right? And I'm just gonna highlight that particular column, right? And I just need to look and say, look, you know, there's a lot of data in here. I've got a lot of different uh, events that are going to take X amount of time. I need to know which of my line items here are going to take more than 500 man hours. Okay, not a problem. I just come right up to conditional formatting. I go to my highlight cells and just say, find me any values that are greater than, and I just type 500. And you see in real time, it's actually highlighting those. Right? And I can fill with some default um, colors and shapes and everything for identification, or I can even go in and customize it to my own personal view. I'm just gonna go with that and say, okay, let's go ahead and just fill that in red. And you see, just like that, it shows me all of the values that are more than 500. I can instantly see, right, which, which of these are gonna take more than 500 man hours to complete. And then I can use that in conjunction with my sorting and filtering and have it filter or sort for me, just show me the ones that are filled in in red. It's a very easy way to work, right? To kind of go along with that, right, what if I'm more interested in finding who's responsible for a particular project. Maybe I've got a set number of crews or, or, or users who I want to find out, you know, who has been assigned to do which of these line items in my job, All right? Not a problem, same thing. I can just go over to the crew setup and I can just go to conditional formatting and say, look, find me any text that contains PM, right? Anything that the project manager is doing and I want you to fill that in in green so I can see what the project manager has to work on. And just like that, it highlights for me all of the instances where the project manager lies within that column, okay? I can go in and, um, you know, let's say, you know, one of, one of the areas where it comes up quite a lot, right, is, is in bids. So I kind of have a, uh, kind of a simulated bid column over here. It's not a real bid column, but for example purposes today, say I got a list of folks who have given us bids, okay? Um, and I really need to go in and I need to start sorting and filtering, finding you know, which ones are higher than or lower than or which ones are above average and so on. So I can easily come over to that column, right? And I can just go up to my conditional formatting, right? And I can go ahead and I can say, look, I need to uh, go in and find any bid values, okay? Uh, that are less than somebody else's. 
So in other words, I want to go through in this column and I say, look, uh, you know, right here, this um, 2128, that's, that's my mean uh, bid value. I want to see, you know, who's higher than that, who's lower than that, right? This is Joe, the contractor who we've used before. And I want to see who, who, who's beating his price, right? So I can go in here, right? And I can go find me any bid that is less than, right? And instead of just typing in the number here, I can actually go in and say, look, anything that's less than his bid, highlight it in whatever colors I want, okay? So you see I can build that and set those all in red. Now I can see all of the bids that are less than his, right? It's only these other three guys. They're the ones who are less than him, okay? Right? I can go in at the same time, right? And I can use the conditional formatting to go in in just same way, right? I can find bids that are higher than his, lower than his, equal to his, all right? I can search for dates and times, you know, things that are past date, overdue, haven't started yet. I've got all kinds of different variances, right? And then I can easily also come in here and I can do things like averaging, okay? So if I want to go into my, my bid row here and say, look, um, and actually I'm just going to clear the rules from the selected cells here, all right? And I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to say, you know what I want to do? I want to know whose bids are above average and whose bids are below average, right? So I can very quickly let Excel go in and say, show me whose bids are too high and whose are too low. So show me anybody whose bids are above the average bid price, right? And I want you to fill those in in red, okay? Those are, you know, ones I'm most likely not going to go with, but I'm going to just go right back in and in that same column, I can go ahead and say, look, I also want you to show me anybody whose bids are below average. Those are a little bit of a danger for me and I'm going to set those for yellow, right? And just like that, you can see it instantly shows me and I can sort and filter and control these, right? Like you would sort and filter anything else, right? I can easily go in and turn on my filters here and go, look, I just want to filter by colors, right? Show me everybody who is below average. There we go. Here's all of my users who are below average, okay? So the conditional formatting is a very easy to use tool, but it provides a level of control and, and ability, it, particularly, like I said, for the construction industry, where we deal with massive amounts of data. I've only been using very simple examples here today, but this is the kind of thing that we regularly instruct people on in our uh, Excel classes, right? We are Microsoft certified partners here at Zentech, and we regularly teach and work with people on Excel, particularly in the architecture, engineering, construction community. And this type of work and the structures on how to actually turn the program you already use into a valuable, time-saving, efficient tool is what we focus on. So I hope you guys got some good ideas here today on how you can use the uh, conditional formatting. Again, it's on your home tab, conditional formatting, to really quickly sort, filter, and control all the data that you have inside of Excel. Thanks for joining. Have a good day.